Hey folks, they're OS Reviews. You're watching a video review of the Fitbug Orb, which is a fitness and activity tracker, which tracks your sleep, your steps, and your calories burned. And it competes with the likes of the Fitbit, things like the Misfit Flash, and other budget-oriented uh, activity trackers in general that are pretty inexpensive, but highly functional, and operate via Bluetooth. What makes the Fitbug kind of interesting is it also uses a removable battery. It uses a CR2032 cell battery, so instead of using a rechargeable solution, it's going to last for about a year before you have to replace the battery. And CR2032 is a pretty standard cell battery, so you can find it very easily online. It's about a dollar to replace, so very inexpensive, and instead of having to worry to char recharge your smart activity tracker every uh, you know, two days or three days, you can just worry about You don't have to worry about it until a year later, so it's a nice benefit. It's quite similar in that department to the Misfit Flash. Otherwise, it's also similar to the Misfit Flash in the sense that, again, it's a very basic and low-end and budget-oriented fitness tracker. It retails for just $50. You can find it online at Best Buy, uh, in stores and Best Buy as well, Target. You can also get it at Walmart and also Amazon.com, so a lot of locations you can select from. The Fitback also comes in multiple colors. We have the black version here, also comes in a red version, and you can select from those to customize to the version that you like. In the packaging itself, you have some various contents. There's a clip that you get uh, for you to use like a pedometer, you can wear it around your belt, uh, or on a shirt or anything like that to track your steps and your number of amount of calories burned. You also have a more traditional watch style, so if you're jogging or um, you know going for a walk, this is going to be a better option I guess for that. Uh, again, it operates via Bluetooth, so it's going to automatically sync to your device. It works with, works with both iOS and Android. So taking a closer look at the design of the unit, uh, the Fitbug is nowhere as attractive as something like the Misfit Shine um, because again it's a lot bulkier it also doesn't have a watch feature so it's a basic watch basic uh, fitness tracker it doesn't display time or anything like that you simply have a series of LED indicators to tell you when the device is being turned on when you're syncing it with the, your device and a basic uh, tracker and sensor on board no time information no date information or anything like that uh, it's like a pebble it's pretty easy to hold it feels pretty comfortable um, it's a bit on the thicker side of the spectrum for a wear um, but otherwise it's crafted entirely out of plastic. There is an interesting lanyard cord on the top so you can also wear it as a necklace uh, or as a keychain or anything like that. So that's a unique feature that we really haven't seen from competitors. Overall the build and the materials used is again plastic but it feels pretty well made. Uh, it actually feels rel relatively rugged in hand and uh, we didn't really have any, any issues with the build um, of this particular product. Taking a look at the actual accessories included, again, we do like the fact you have both the watch and the uh, kind of tracker pedometer style that's included in the box, because that's not something that happens like that. to be something that does include those accessories. But other competitors, like from Fitbit, does not include these accessories in the packaging, and you have to purchase them separately. So this is an added value that Fitbug includes for you. The Android application for Fitbug is, I think, kind of buggy and not really responsive. Especially if you're setting up your device for the first time, I really recommend using an iOS product if you have one or your computer. Um, it's there's a few bugs and some hindrances that gets in the way. For example, a time zone, you press on it. The LG G Flex is a really snappy device, but you can see how there's a lot of lag associated with this application. I'm just not sure why. And there are a few bugs where you click on something and it actually goes to something on, on top or on below. So it ends up being something that um, it's quite unresponsive and not really easy to use. Um, so the application itself has quite a few issues, uh, again with the speed and the option. Another problem is, of course, the Fitbug is just not as ubiquitous as the Fitbit or a Misfit Flash. And so, of course, there's not going to be as much support or community for it, whereas the price point is as high as a Fitbit and a Misfit Flash, whereas the features are basically the same, except it does even less than a Flash. And so... You know, in terms of accuracy of the steps, it certainly does a pretty good job. If you walk around outside and run, it seems to be accurate. You enter your measurements, uh, like your height, your gender first, so it creates a rough estimate, and you can't accidentally trigger any steps by shaking it, so at least that is a smart sensor that has been integrated well. And um, as far as, you know, calories burned, it does a nice job well. So as a pure fitness tracker, it does work, and it's one of the more accurate ones we've seen. But our problem is, at this current price point of around 60 bucks, uh, it's not as competitive as some things like the Misfit Flash, which offers nearly the same feature set, but it also allows you to check the time, whereas on here there's no display or the ability to do that. It also uses, again, that CR2032 battery and has a wider community of support, and so we'll likely see more firmware updates down the road, whereas with the Fitbug, we haven't really seen too much updates 
and now that we've used it for a few months, which is, again, a little disappointing. The product as a whole feels pretty solid, even though it's a bit bulkier than some of its competitors, uh, and also can be worn around your neck like a pendant, which I think is a bit unique. And the ability to place an, uh, a battery like the CR2032 is a good design choice, at least in my opinion, because you don't have to recharge it uh, you know, every week or something like that. And the CR2032 battery is easily accessible and pretty cheap to replace. It's only about a dollar to buy, so that's something that's good. Anyways, I think that the, again, the Fitbug is a pretty good fitness tracker. If I have to rate it as a fitness tracker, it certainly does the job. My problem, again, is just with the app, with the support, uh, and the fact that it lacks a few features that competitors are getting, uh, and a lot of smartwatches these days are also merging into fitness trackers, and those are retailing for $20, $30 on Amazon and eBay, whereas something like this might be a bit more accurate, but it offers less features at a steeper price. To learn more information about the Fitbug Fitness Tracker, you can check out our full written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.